Okay, we're ready to go here. You remember this voice, don't you? It's Brian Ranchin, Family Ties Production. Welcome to tonight's great Mississippi Athletic Conference boys basketball action at North Scott High School. The Lancers, eight and three. Overall, taking on Bettendorf. The Bulldogs coming in with a record of six wins and three losses. And uh, of course, uh, plenty of uh, great talent here tonight. Uh, we already saw one of uh, North Scott's uh, great talents of the past, Keaton Fry, proposed to his girlfriend. We wish them a happy uh, wedding uh, here as the Lancers and Bulldogs will be set to tangle here uh, in a few short moments here, uh, looks like uh, North Scott uh, tonight, the Lancers, uh, will, they're led by a pair of freshmen, uh, fantastic freshmen, Cortez Seals, averaging 11, uh, just over 11 points a game, and uh, also leading in the uh, rebounding department, 45, uh, 55 uh, rebounds, excuse me, and 45 assists. Also leads in steals and blocks, 16 and 10 respectively. Uh, right behind him is Ben Wilson, a junior, uh, averaging uh, 56, uh, just under 57 percent from the uh, field shooting, 29 and 51 coming into tonight. He has 88 points on the season for an eight-point average, and uh, he is uh, deadly from the uh, three-point land, 14 of 28 coming into tonight. Um, real quickly, the uh, Bulldogs uh, will mention a couple of standout players there. Cole Clearman, the leader with 14 points a game average, 126 on the season. He has 44 rebounds, also leading in that department. Uh, or take that back, uh, that's Tom Dunleavy that leads in rebounding. So the Lancers and uh, Bulldogs uh, will have the starting lineups here uh, momentarily as uh, we invite you to stay tuned for exciting Mississippi Athletic Conference basketball here in the pit. And we'll uh, go ahead and mention those starters here real quick. Lancers will start Ben Wilson, Eric Huber, uh, Cortez Seals, Noah Gumpert, and Grant Graham, Wilson, Huber, and Gumpert, all juniors, and Seals, and Grant, you're a fantastic freshman. Of course, we uh, knew that in the early going that the Lancers were relying on the uh, two freshmen, and then for a little bit, uh, it was the juniors that were leading the show. Now they're starting to figure it out. We'll see if they have it all figured out. Bettendorf. Starting Cole Clearman, David Cribbs, Nick Hughes, Tom Dunleavy, and Alex Grampman. Cribbs, Hughes, Dunleavy, and Grampman, all seniors, and Cole Clearman, the 5'10 sensational sophomore. Like to give them all nicknames there. Fantastic freshman and Sensational sophomores. So it's really getting to be more and more about the uh, underclassmen playing right away. As the uh, non starters for the uh, Bulldogs being introduced. The Lancers. We'll be trying to bounce back after a really heartbreaking loss. Triple heartbreak, you could call it. The other night against Assumption, Lancers playing perhaps one of their best games of the season so far. Unfortunately, falling in overtime, free throw shooting, woes catching up with them late. They fall to the Knights. The dead on favored early on to be the Mississippi Athletic Conference champions. Lancers only have one senior on the 
roster this year. That's Sam Holly, and he is not in the regular rotation, but he's provided a lot of help and a lot of reliable leadership over the years. So, again, you got the guards, Clearman and Hughes, the forwards. Hughes and Dunleavy and Grotman, the big 6'7 senior center. Lancers have four Ben Wilson. The uh, and Cortez Seals also at forward. The guard court, Eric Huber and Grant Graham and Noah Gumpert, the man in the mill. Here's Eric Huber. He's the last of the uh, Huber athletes. Come out of a great family there. One of the great North Scott families. Sherry and uh, Aaron. Sherry, it looks like, is uh, back at. Uh, no, she, uh, yep, she's back at uh, college. Trying to find her in the crowd. There's Cortez Seals and Nick Hughes. Starting for the ball, a 6 3 senior, number 25, Tom Dunlevy. There's big Tom Dunlevy. 6 3 forward. And there's the big guy for North Scott, Noah Gumpert. Exler is two that are larger than him. Creighton Clausen comes off the bench and Brandon LaFrenz. One of the great role players. He'll get a lot of experience for next year. That's the big guy for Bettendorf, Alex Grotman. And Grant Graham, again, one of the sensational or fantastic freshman, and remember we were gonna call it fantastic freshman. There's that big circle hug. They've done it for 14 years. Lancers led by coach Seamus Buddy and former North or University of Iowa great Kevin Skillet leading the Bettendorf Bulldogs. So we're gonna be right back after the national anthem. Get started here again. The coaches, uh, Seamus Buddy for North Scott, in his uh, sixth year. 
It's here number 12 for Kevin Skillet at Bettendorf. And both teams now back out on the floor. Shaking hands here. We'll see who will be in the center jump tonight. Looks like it's going to be Cortez Seals for North Scott and the big man, Mr. Alex Grotman for Bettendorf. Bettendorf will be going right to left. And it looks like Bettendorf has won the toss. Uh, tip, rather, and David Cribbs takes the first shot, uh, shot by Grotman, and in it goes. Just 10 seconds into it. Two nuts in Bettendorf. Nice shot inside there by Grotman. Took the first thing available, and it worked out. Huber now. Eric Huber gets it over to Noah Gumpert. There's Cortez Seals for the Lancers. Finds Graham on the far side, Grant Graham. Over to Huber on the near side. The passing around the perimeter right now, it's a perimeter game. Bentendorf forcing him out early. Yes, yeah, Gumpert tries to get around, but he finds Seals. Seals gonna maybe see his opening. Nope, gets it over to Gumpert, back to Seals. Graham over to Huber. Letting a minute off here in this possession here is Gumpert. Thinks he sees his opening. Nope. Seals took it, but he was hand checked there, and we have our first foul. First foul on Cole Clearman. Bettendorf's first foul. Graham will inbound it, finds Huber. Outside the arc, gets it over to Wilson. Way out there, gets it over to Graham. There's Seals. See if Seals sees an opening here. Nope, guard closely, gets it over to Gumpert. Far side, Graham tries to get around Hughes, but finds Huber. There's Wilson, tries to get it in. Up, no, rebound comes down. Nicely done there by Nick Hughes. Clearman brings it up. Finds Nick Hughes. Hughes wants to go inside. Nope, Grotman pushes it back outside. Cribs. There's Tom Dunleavy. Back to number 13, Cole Clearman. Inside Dunleavy. Inside. Now he drives the baseline. Nope, gets it over outside to Hughes. Hughes, long range. Nope, rebound comes down. Nice rebound there by Cortez Seals for the Lancers. Another minute blood off the clock. There's a three. No! Bounce back out to Seals. Graham on the miss there earlier. <coughs> As Cortez is going to try to drive inside. Nope. Gets it back out to Wilson. There's Graham. Huber. Around the perimeter once again. There's Mr. Noah Gumpert. Graham. Gumpert. Over to Cortez, Seals. <laughs> I think there's been three shots taken so far in this game. Yeah, Seals takes number four and it misses and a nice rebound by David Cribbs. Brings it out to Cole Clearman for the Bulldogs. Cribbs over to Hughes. Hughes to Clearman. That's Cribbs on the far side for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs, of course, in their black traveling jerseys with the gold trim and white numbers. There's a shot there. No rebound. And I think you could credit uh, Gumpert with that for the Lancers. One shot made this whole game. I think that's five shots taken so far. So neither team connecting early. It's been really a one and done deal. All the rebounds being defensive so far as Cortez. Tries to scoot around David Cribbs for the Bulldogs. There's a three taken by Gumpert. No rebound comes down. David Cribbs again. A rebound. It's defensive. Yes. No. A steal there. First steal of the game that we know of. There. Grant Graham. Three point taken. No. Rebound. Alex Grotman. Again, a one and done deal. And we have a foul. It's going to be the first for the Lancers. Let's see who's on. 
it. It looked like it happened as somebody was driving the lane there, number 20. That means Eric Huber, his first, Lancer's first. Non-shooting foul, so we'll inbound it there. Kendall Jacks checking in now for the Bulldogs, as is Chris Klabunde. Klabunde in for the big man, Alex Grotman, and Kendall Jacks. Let's see who took a seat. David Cribbs, we think, took a seat. Three-point taken, and it's in. Cole Clearman. Five-nothing. <coughs> Again, a one-and-done deal. Each possession, but Bulldogs connecting that time. And it's the Lancers yet to connect. Uh, get out to Seals. No rebound. Do we have a def no? It's a defensive rebound again. A one and done deal there. Kendall Tax with the rebound for the Bulldogs as Klabunde. No, we have a foul and it's a shooting foul. I think the foul is going to be on. Yep, it's going to be on Cortez Seals. Take that back. I thought it was going to be on Noah Gumper, but I guessed wrong. Two shot deal for Klabunde. First one's in, make it six nothing. Michael Moore, no relation to the filmmaker. And uh, Creighton Clausen for the Lancers. Clausen, a six seven junior, as the second shot is good by Klabunde. And Jordan Arb checking in for the Lancers. Ben Wilson takes the seat. So Jordan Arp will inbound for the Lancers. Gets it to uh, Grant Graham. Again, the Lancers yet to score here. We're more than five and a half into this game. We have a foul on the floor in the meantime. <coughs> okay. Tickling in the throat there. Uh, the foul on Kendall Jacks, his first. Bettendorf second, 321 to play, 7 nothing. Bettendorf. Grant Graham with the basketball. One of the two freshmen there. There's the other one, Cortez Seals. Seals trying to get around inside the Bettendorf uh, zone as Graham pushed it out to Clausen. Graham over to Eric Huber. Huber to Arp. Arp, he shot a lot of threes last year. Maybe he should go to him. Clausen, yep, and in! <coughs> the baby is born! For the laps, here's his. Creighton Clausen scores. 2.42 to go here in the first quarter. 7 to 2. Bettendorf rebound, Def offensive rebound by Michael Moore. Clearman, Kendall Jacks inside now is Mr. Tom Dunlavy. Dunlavy up and in. Two points for him, his first two of the game. Nine to two, 2.15 to go here in the first quarter here. As Eric Huber on the near side. Order Graham, there's Jordan Arp. Arp looking around, gets it to Cortez Seals. Seals. Looks, finds Graham. Graham gets it to Eric Huber. Arp over to Graham, or Seals rather. There's Graham. As Seals tries to warm off, gets it to Huber now to Jordan Arp drives baseline up. Nope. Foul. Kendall Jacks in the way illegally, uh, says the referee. And Arp will get to shoot two at the line. Kendall Jacks with his second foul and team's third as Arp makes the first. Lucas Rollinger and Dylan Sortillo in for the Bulldogs. It's Clearman and Jacks take a seat and 
Arp makes both free throws. It's a 9-4 ball game, uh, just under a buck and a half to go here. First period. Dylan Sortillo over to Kendall Jacks. Sortillo Jacks over to Michael Moore. The second five for the Bulldogs all in as all five starters are taking a little bit of a breather it looks like. And Jack's up, no. Nope, guard closely there, uh, trying to force a turnover but can't. Bulldogs keep control of it and Dylan Sortillo guilty of uh, travel. Just under a minute to go here. Ben Wilson, just over a minute rather. Eric Huber checking back in. And David Cribbs will also check back in. Kendall Jacks will take a seat for the Bulldogs. Inbound on the far side, gets it to Grant Graham. Graham across the timeline, under a minute to go now. And what do we have, a foul on the floor. <coughs> Appears it's on the Bulldogs. Tom, or no, take that back. Lucas Rollinger, his fourth, his first, and Bettendorf's fourth. Take that back, 56 seconds to go as Jordan Arp takes the three, and it's in! <coughs> Jordan Arp, the first three point of the game for the Lancers. Bettendorf has one to their credit. Let's see how Bettendorf responds. 9 7 ball game, just like that. Lancer scoring the last five points of the game as Chris Klabudi gets it over to Cribs. Sortillo Cribs to Rollinger on the left wing. There's Klabudi back out to Cribs. Push that to Sortillo. He's going to wait for the last shot here. It's a chess game sometimes, and we're going to have a timeout just like that. That kind of surprised me. Maybe Coach uh, Skillet saw something, uh, saw weakness in the Lancer defense. We'll have to wait and see. 9-7, just under uh, 13 seconds to go here in the uh, first quarter. Oh, yes, uh, we do want to mention one of our sponsors here. For this game, Nickelberry's Pizza back with us, of course, locally owned and operated. Best pizza in town, Eric Schreiber, North Scott graduate. Stop in, 1084, 1084. East LeClaire Road. I had to remember the address, remember I? 285-9000. 285-9000, 563 area code. If you have a cell phone, you'll want to dial the 563-285. 9,000. Programming in your phone. Bettendorf inbounds. There's Chloe Clearman. Clearman, nope. Oh, I th <laughs> turnover. 3-2. Three, Three-pointer at the buzzer. Or just before in a steal. Can't cash in. 12-7. Bettendorf after one. We'll be right back. <laughs> I had to, I had to Okay, we're ready to start second quarter here. Looks like it's going to be for North Scott. It's going to be Ben Wilson, Grant Graham, Jordan Arp, Creighton Clausen, and Cortez Seals as Lancers will start with the basketball here. For Bettendorf, Nick Hughes, Lucas Rollinger, the big man, Alex Crompton, Tom Dunleavy, and Cole Clearman as the Bulldogs in that uh, zone, it looks like right now. Cortez Seals with the basketball for the Lancers. He's gonna try to drive the lane, see if makes something happen. Arp, oh, a collision inside, but Arp, let's see if he gets it in. No, we have a foul on the rebound, and it looks like the way Craig Clausen's reacting, yep, it's on him. He thought he had the rebound and bumped into somebody and <clears throat> do wanna 
Say Bettendorf now with the shot there. It looked like Clearman had it. Nope, rebound out. Alex Grotman, and it's in. And a quick timeout, just like that. Coach Buddy for the Lancers didn't like what he saw, 14 to seven. We missed who uh, made the uh, shot there. I think it was Grotman. Although they're not crediting him with it, so we'll just have to leave that uncredited for the time being until we know for sure who uh, had the shot. But that was a classic case of getting beat. To the uh, basket. And uh, Bettendorf taking advantage. 7.04 to go here in the first half, 14 to seven. <clears throat> As the Lancers inbound, there's uh, Grant Graham. Graham out to Cortez. There's Jordan Arp over to Ben Wilson. Graham. Graham pushed it back over to Ben Wilson. It's Clausen. Graham near side. Graham with Hughes guarding him for the Bulldogs. There's Graham. Again, Bettendorf in his own, it looks like. Arp, long three, no. Creighton Clausen taps it out. Clausen, now Seals has it. There's Clausen, the big 6'7 junior. It's really come a long way, and it's stolen. <laughs> and the Lancers have no choice but the foul to prevent the breakaway. Basket, Ben Wilson. 14 to seven, 608 to go as David Cribbs checks in. Lucas Rollinger will take a seat for the Bulldogs. Clearman inside, there's Nick Hughes. Hughes up, no rebound nicely done there by Creighton Clausen starting to make a difference a little bit on the boards. Lance are going to need to connect on baskets. Scoring the name of the game, of course. Yes. Seal Snow, it's stolen away, but it's stolen right back by the Lancers. <coughs> we have a foul. Bendor thinking it's unjust. There might be Tom Dunleavy. Nope, it's Nick Hughes, and he's uh, Coach Skillet for the Bulldogs, wants an explanation, he gets it. Lancers the inbound, Jordan Arp. Arp inbounds to Wilson. Wilson over to uh, Grant Graham. Graham guarded closely there by Mr. Nick Hughes, and we have a foul, it's gonna be on Hughes, it looks like. Yep, it is, two quick fouls for him. 16 foul, 5.30 to go. Next foul puts the Lancers in the bonus. The one and one bonus. <coughs> it's Wilson. Gets it into Graham. One and oh, two Bulldogs have two fouls. Nick Hughes and Kendall Jacks. Jacks will be coming in here shortly as Cortez tries to start baseline, push back out. You see it's met by a couple of Bulldogs. Seals takes it from Wilson. There's Graham. <coughs> Graham gonna try to see if he can thread the needle, get inside. Nope, it's Cortez. Cortez with a three, nope. Rebound, uh, let's see, it's scramble for the ball, it's out of bounds. Last touch by Bettendorf. As it was rolling out of bounds, David Cribbs trying to reach for it. So were Clausen and Graham, it looked like. And uh, Lancers will have it under the basket. <coughs> Cribs is in for Hughes. 4.55 to go as Graham will inbound. Ben Wilson takes it on the run and he is immediately bumped there by Tom Dunleavy. That's his first foul. And more importantly, it's the Bulldogs' seventh, so that'll send 
North got to the line to shoot the one and bonus. Ben Wilson will do the honors. See was the one bumped. First one's in. Wilson of note he is only a 64% free throw shooter. Lancer says a team just under 58%. Second, no. A Boeing that goes right to Tom Duck, for the Bulldogs. 14 to 8, your score. <coughs> With the Lancers scoring right now, they're going to be lucky to get in double figures. And the nice shot there by Cole Clerman. Off balance a little bit, it looked like. It's 16 to 8, four and a half to go. First half, Grant Graham to Wilson, and we have a foul. It looks like it's a clear out, an offensive foul on the Lancers. Last thing they needed, Cortez, second foul. He's yet to score tonight. Coming to think of it, so does Graham. The two freshmen, the fantastic freshmen, aren't so fantastic so far, unfortunately, for the Lancers as Noah Gumper checks back in. Try to get something going. We really need to get something going here as Bulldogs almost lose control of it. They get it back, and David Cribbs tries to shoot. He's fouled on the way in. <coughs> Jordan Arp. Draws his first foul. And David Cribbs will shoot two at the line. First shot, no good. Free throw shooting's really a lost art, I think. Ben Norris only 56% from the line. You thought Norris Scott was bad at 58%. Well, you had to think about that one there, David Cribbs. Didn't get it off, so he's allowed to make another attempt there. And second one is no good. Clausen with the rebound. Bulldogs, three of four from the line. Lancers, two of four. Just for uh, comparative speaking here, midway through the second period. 16 to 8, the score remains. Lancers once again forced to play outside as Graham. Finally, one of the freshmen scores. On the run, nice shot there. Saw the opening, Grant Graham, his first two basket. And the Lancers are earned the right to say he's a freshman. 16 to 10. Now you'll have to listen, the Bulldogs invariably will say he's a senior. Ben Dorf has plenty of talented seniors. As one of them right there, Tom Dunleavy. Yep, not yet. Thought they were going to go with their he's a senior chant, but one of the seniors right there, Tom Dunleavy. 18 to 10, just under the three minute mark now as Jordan Arp waits, gets the shot. Bingo! Jordan Arp with his second three of the game, eight points for him. He might be the go-to guy tonight. Jordan Arp had plenty of good games last year as a sophomore as the off-balance shot there taken by Tom Dunleavy. He's fouled by Creighton Klaus in his second foul. That's his second, and that does put the Bulldogs in the one on one bonus. This will be a two shot foul, however, as it was a shooting foul. Clausen, or take that back. Dunleavy. Got a little confused there for a second as a couple of Bulldogs check in. Looks like Sortillo and Clearman are the ones in for 21 and 41. That corresponds to David Cribbs and Kendall Jacks. We had a Lancer check in. It looks like Mitchell Gorsh in for the first time tonight. Second shot's in. And Tom Dunleavy 
Connects on both. Chris Clablude in for the big man, Alex Grotman. 20 to 13, two and a half to go in the first half. It's Jordan Arp, takes the lane, gets it to Graham, and he has to push it outside. Around the perimeter, there's Mitchell Gorsh up, and he gets it in. Makes the impact right off the bat. Saw the opening foul on the way in by Michael Moore, might have bumped him. Nonetheless, that is a basket, 20 to 6, 15. Bulldogs only leading by five now. As Gorsh will have a shot at completing the three point play, the old fashioned way, of course. It's Mitchell Gorsh. I love those old nicknames. As Clearman up. Nope. Rebound. Gumpert for the Lancers. Lancers only trail by four now as Graham A gets it in. Nice drive to land. And it is all of a sudden a two point game. The Bulldogs just a few minutes ago were leading by eight. Now they only lead by a deuce. Buck 45 to go there as Clearman tries to get around to the far side, gets it out to the top of the key. Dunley, Tom Dunleavy, rather. Dylan Sortillo. Over to Tom Dunleavy. Dunleavy drives the baseline. Nope. Scramble for the ball. It's going to be a hell ball there. Jump ball. The fight. And it's going to be Bulldog basketball on the alternating possession. Under their own basket. Clearman to do the honors. Gets it in to Moore. Clearman. Off balance shot up and in. Nice shot there by Chris Labude. 22 to 18, buck 16 to go. Oh, it's been a side and comeback for the Lancers here. As Gumpert gets it over to Grant Graham. Gumpert. There's Gorsh, gets it around the perimeter. There's Gumper, he's gonna drive the baseline and he's fouled on the way in. It looked like Flabunde. Yep, bumped him. It's the ninth foul for Bettendorf. Next foul puts Lancers in the double bonus. And Mitch, or Noah Gumpert rather, will shoot the one and bonus. In it goes. 22 to 19. And Gorsh, or take that back, Huber, phone instructions as the second one's good. It is once again a two point game. 51 seconds. Bettendorf only by two right now. It's done, lady. Gets it over to Moore. There's Clearman. Clearman up for three. No. And a bump out of bounds as a nice hustle there. Klabundi not quite fast enough. Nickelberry's Pizza sponsoring tonight's ball game. Nickelberry's Pizza, of course, as we said before, Norscott graduate Eric Shriver. Best pizza in the Norscott area as we have a couple substitutions here. David Cribbs and... Lucas Rollinger for Bettendorf. Again, if you want the best pizza in the Northcott area, it's Nickelberry's Pizza, 1084 East LeClaire Road in Eldridge, 563-285-9000. Only number you need to know. Program it in your phone, everybody. I'll be calling you or checking your phone, make sure. That's yeah, Grant Graham. For the Lancers, gets it out to Huber. They're playing for the lead, 15 seconds. Arp over to Graham. See the opening, it's a zone. They're gonna have to get around. See if he can pull. Here we go, Arp's gonna have to take the shot. He gets it in! You knew that was coming! What a basket right there. Lancers lead for the first time at the halftime buzzer. Jordan Arp, third three of the night. 23-22, we'll be right back with an exciting second half after this.
Mitchell Bohr is just Lady. 
He does. 29 25, 442 to go in the third period. As inside, uh, let's see, it looks like Cribs up and persistence pays off. A couple of Lancers on top of him, but Cribs kept his composure, waited for the opening, and got it in. Grant Graham in, and he's starting to. Heat up a little bit there. 31 27, 412 to go. Rotman, nope. Took a shot, couldn't get it off. Planted his feet, instant travel. Kendall Jacks and Michael Moore check in. Cribs and Nick Hughes take a seat for the Bulldogs. Four point lead for Bettendorf, 410 to go here. Nice back and forth action here so far after Bettendorf went on a little bit of an early spurt. Got to a six point lead. At 29-23, but Lancer's able to cut it to within four a couple times. Gorsh gets it over to Huber. Huber finds Grant Graham. Graham, let's see if he finds the opening there. Drives around, gets it to Cortez on the far wing. Far side is Graham. Seals, let's see, you're just waiting for him to heat up here. Seals, out. Gorsh, of course, he's in. 31-30. And we have a foul, looks like immediately after the basket. Let's see who's on. No, no foul maybe? Delay of game warning actually. Well, I didn't see that, that's a new one on me. But Chris Klabunde will check back in. The big guy comes out, Alex Grotman. Grotman has six points so far for the Bulldogs. Looks like the leader, it's a pretty balanced game and attack for the Bulldogs as Tom Dunleavy, eight points, appears to be the leader, and Grotman has six. Ball goes out of bounds, it's Bulldog ball. Last touch by North Cott. And there's a nice steal there by Eric Huber. Brings it across the timeline, gets it over to Clausen, Huber. Graham, back to Huber. Oh, I thought it was stolen there, but that's Gorsh on the near far side. Oh, stolen away. Travel for the ball. Out of bounds, and it's our Scott ball. Clearman fell down trying to control that ball. A little bit of butterfingers there. And uh, Rollinger checks in. Will relieve Dunleavy. Benton North, that 10 man rotation. Kevin Skillet doing a pretty good job uh, rotating his uh, guys in and out. As Gorsh keeps hold of it. Cortez over to Graham. Grant Graham over to Clausen. There's Cortez, Cortez tries to find his way inside, can't, gets it out to Klaus, or Gorsh rather. There's Cortez, Seals drives the baseline, no. 
Blocked on the way in and uh, well, it's going to be on Lucas Rollinger. Second foul for him, fourth team foul for Bettendorf. Nine fouls between the two teams here in the first six minutes of the second half. So this could be coming down to a free throw shooting contest. The way things are playing out. Again, we said neither team particularly sharp from the line. 58% for North Scott, just over 56 for Bettendorf. Free throw shooting really become a lost art, even at the college level. That's sad to say. Two speed free throws were automatic. As a foul drawn on the Bulldogs, Michael Moore. Both teams now with five fouls. Yes, that's Moore's second foul. Dylan Sortillo in the ball game. Graham, or Cortez, and he finally dents the scoreboard. He had a nice assist there, didn't quite see who was helping out there. And a nice block there by Clayton Clausen, stolen right back by Bettendorf. Tried to dive, keep it on bounds, but North Scott keeps hold of it. There's Cortez, no! Oh, you thought Cortez was just coming alive there. He almost come unglued. There's some, looked like he got bumped there a little bit. The foul on Chris Clablonde, his second, six for Bettendorf. Next foul puts North Scott in the bonus as Cortez will shoot two. Nope, can't, uh, didn't get it. Looks like North Scott's ahead, 32-31. This will make it a two-point game if he makes it. He goes. Buck 17 to go. 33-31. Cortez has three points. You were just waiting for him to come alive there. Well, that's the way it is with basketball players sometimes. They struggle for a half or so, and then they end up winning the game for you. As Sortillo, oh, he got away with the walk there. Can't yeah, control the ball, that's all right. As Wallinger up and he throws it away. Right in the stands. It might have been cut by the Lancers, so that's just as good. They don't score. Danny Wilson checking back in. And Cortez Seals comes out. Well, I don't know about that. I think Cortez is just starting to get a, a little hot there, but we'll see, maybe. Oh no, it's all the way by the Lancers. Oh wow. Grant Graham over to Ben Wilson. Hey Ben Wilson, though, has something here that he needs to do at this point in the game. Thanks Coach Buddy. Graham gets it over to Wilson. Mr. Wilson, let's see. Gets it over to Graham. Oh, and there's a tie-up. Didn't see that. I was paying attention to the ball handler, and the foul's going to be on Dylan Sortillo. No, take it back. Cole Clearman, his third foul. He's going to have to take a seat. The best player on the team. And no, take that back. Rollinger, that's his third. It's a bench player, but Creighton Clausen will have a one and bonus. Lost control of the air of lost track of who's who there. But Clausen, no mistaking him, he gets the first three point game for the Lancers 34 31. Got one more coming up with 17 seconds left. Oh, can't get it. Oh, man. And Grotman gets the rebound for the Bulldogs. Push to that court there as Michael Moore, six, five, four, Clearman up, in, in and out. Rebound by Huber. 
That ends the third quarter. We're going to thank our sponsor, Nickelberry's Pizza, real quickly. Nickelberry's Pizza, the best pizza in the North Scott area, bar none. And, uh, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, we're ready to start the fourth quarter. We were in the middle of uh, thanking our sponsor, Nickelberry's Pizza, the best pizza in the North Scott area. Bar none, Eric Shriver, the owner and operator, 20 years and counting as the foul on Bettendorf. Bettendorf's starting to lose control of this game. You have a punch, Alex Scrompman. His first, Bettendorf's eighth, and a foul opportunity. Let's see what's going on here. Looks like it was a defensive foul, so it should send somebody to the line if it is. I didn't see the uh, foul except by a blink of the eye. Oh boy, uh, they're talking it over. They're talking it over, anyway. Nicholsberry's Pizza, the address, 1084 East LeClaire Road, and the phone number to order all those delicious pizzas, 563-285-9000. And uh, a lot more to come here if you want to advertise uh, with uh, Family Ties Reduction. Uh, just uh, contact Jess Medina. He'll set you up. It looks like Clarkton and Clausen. Uh, I'll have that phone number for you in a second. In the meantime, one and one for Clausen as he makes the first. 35 31. North Scott on top by four. One more shot coming up. And it's in. 36 31. Five point lead for North Scott. Anyway. You want to advertise Family Ties Reduction? Contact Jess Medina. His phone number 309-721-0896. As the shot taken by Cole Clearman. It's good. A three-pointer. 36-33. Well, it's a long two, I guess. So, Long two makes it 36-33. 7-17 to go here on the Regulation, you have a hunch that this game is far from decided here. Lancers were trailing by eight early in the uh, second period, but then they came alive in that three-pointer by Jordan Arp just invigorated them. Bettendorf did have a six-point lead here early in the second half, but it's been pretty much all North Scott here since then. Is Oh, Arp or oh, Hubert didn't get a really good shot off, and it was taken right away by Bettendorf. Sortillo with the steal. Cole Clearman. Again, he's that best player for the Bulldogs. We'll see how uh, he, that plays into things here in, late in the game. It's a scramble for the rebound off the Bettendorf miss, and it looks like Clausen came up with it for a second, and Nick Hughes. Got it right back. We have a foul. <coughs> the foul, let's see who's on. It's on Cortez Seals, his fourth. Boy, he's had a difficult game here tonight. Jordan Arp will come in to replace him. Fourth foul for Cortez. Well, three points. Well, when you're a freshman, you're going to have those kind of games. And, uh, you just have to try to learn from him, I guess. Sortillo over to Hughes. Hughes takes the three, oh, yeah. and it's in. So it's a tie ball game. Hughes, deadly from three-point land, I believe. And uh, we have a foul. Actually, it was Dylan Sortillo, who is the uh, leader, but Nick Hughes, only two of 11 coming into tonight, so not somebody you'd expect to shoot a three-point shot. Looks like Bettendorf's gonna take a real quick timeout. 
tie ball game. 5.51 to go here. We'll be right back. Oh, no, no, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. We only have a 30-second timeout, so we're going to thank our sponsor here real quick, Nickelberry's Pizza, 1084 East LeClaire Road, Ian Eldridge, 285-9000. Only number you need to know to order the best pizza in the Quad Cities, locally owned and operated by Eric Striver. Graduated from North Scott High School right here. Had his own business when he was 19, and 20 years later, it goes strong. So, want to thank him for helping us out here tonight. Both teams out of the timeout now. Lancers on the floor, Bulldogs on the floor. Looks like Huber, Clausen, Arp, Graham, and Gorsh for the Lancers, for Bettendorf, Clearman, Hughes, Moore, Grantman, and one more. Let's see, it's Cribs, David Cribs for the Bulldogs. This Lancers try to reestablish the lead here. They had it by five, but Bettendorf's come right back. Jordan or Mitchell Gorsh, no, rebound by Grant Graham, Grant Graham. Got the long rebound, got it in. Long two-pointer, 38-36. 5-12 to go here in regulation. Cribs, oh, barely keeps it in bounds there. Gus Clearman got it off to Cribs. Almost loses control of the ball and he does, but it's last touch by the Lancers. Dunleavy will check back in for Bettendorf. Michael Moore will plant his seat on the bench. In front of the Bulldog bench. Bulldogs inbound it. Hughes. Hughes pushes it out to Dunleavy. Hughes for three new. Rebound. Nice job there by Grant Graham. Waited for it to come to him. Almost all the way there. That time it was by the Bulldogs. Looked like might have been Clearman that had the steal. Clearman up and in. It's a tie ball game once again. 4.30 to go here, just about. As Gorsh guarded, harassed by Clearman, and we have a quick timeout there. Saved. <laughs> he clearly saved. Coach Buddy clearly saved Gorsh there. He was guarded by Clearman. We're going to take a quick timeout here. We'll be right back. Okay, we're going to get ready here as Bettendorf North Scott tied at 38 here. It's quite a contest here in the pit. Creighton Clausen over to uh, <laughs> Eric Huber there. He had a little mental block there. Arp over to Cortez. No, not Cortez. Grant Graham. Huber tries to find his way inside. Bettendorf playing aggressive defense here. Uh, it looks like a 2-3 zone right at the moment. Moving around the blocks there. And Bulldogs, Lancers forced to keep it at the perimeter as Arp gets it to Gorsh. Gorsh looking around. Gorsh doing a nice job here tonight. He's so a nice conditioning here as Bettendorf coaches think they saw something on the floor. Nothing doing though. Clausen over to uh, Huber. You have a feeling this could go into overtime. You never know. And Grotman draws the foul as Gorsh was trying to drive inside. Ninth foul for the Lancers or Bulldogs. Next foul puts the Lancers in the double bonus. 3.13 to go here as the one and one. No good. Gorsh misses. 
Well, you can't afford to miss free throw shooting, and like I said, neither team particularly good at the three point uh, free throw stripe. In and out there by Cole Clearman. Loose ball by Hughes. There's the shot. Grotman, and it's in. Bendorf once again with the lead. 40 to 38. Wow, what a back and forth. <laughs> Had to breathe heavy there for a second as Clausen Arp over far side. Now it is Arp Gorsh gonna try to find its way in. Uh, there's Clausen on the inside. Waits. Nope. Bump. And that's gonna mean foul number ten. Foul. Let's see what's on. That's on David Cripps, his third. Means three Bulldogs in foul trouble, three fouls. Creighton Clausen will shoot the double bonus. Lancers will have two shots every foul from now on this game. Michael Moore for the Bulldogs. Cortez seals in for the Lancers as Lancers pulled it within one. Second shot. It's a tie game once again. Clausen, five of six tonight. How important is that? Every free throw shot's going to be important as that's a nice shot there. Cole Clearman. Clearman with 11 points. Uh, Seals is going to try to drive inside, gets it out. Huber for three, nil. Rebound. Gorsh, no. Bumped out to Graham, no. Scramble inside, no. And the Bulldogs have it. Up, in and out. Cole Clearman, that would have been a big shot there if he would have made it. Cole Clearman would have put the Bulldogs up by four. He said the Lancers can tie it, no. <coughs> Swiped away, swatted away, and there's Nick Hughes. And Bulldogs are going to call timeout. Wow. Bulldogs swinging with both fists, and they are they are going to play to extend this lead here. We want to thank our sponsor here real quick, Nickelberry's Pizza. Best pizza in the North Scott area. Locally owned and operated by Eric Shriver, the North Scott graduate. And the Pete Nickelberry Pizza located at 1084 East LeClaire Road in Eldridge, 285 9000 563 area code. So put that in your phone and remember it. We'll be checking. Make sure that that's the only number you call to get best pizza in the North Scott area. Well, you have to figure out if North Scott wants to foul here and who they want to foul. Remember, Bettendorf only shoots at around 56% from the free throw line. And there's a number of Bulldogs in the game right now that are below 70%. Can't uh, quite tell right now who they are. One you don't want to foul is Michael Moore. He shoots 83% from the line. Kind of reminiscent of uh, Brandon Voss, the uh, former Lancer standout that is now playing at Upper Iowa. Getting close to that buck 10 mark here in regulation here as Bulldogs trying to take some time off the clock here. Dunleavy over to Clearman, guarded closely here, man-to-man -man defense. Nope, he had to foul Nick Hughes. Is that the one to do? Well, 80%, maybe not. Ben Wilson draws a foul. Lancer, Bulldogs in a uh, one and one now. 51 seconds left. And Nick Hughes. 
First time to the line tonight. Yeah, it's a Lancer crowd trying to distract him. It's in. What a battle here it's been tonight here in the pit. We'll have some people to thank here at the end. <coughs> this one will make it a two possession game. It's good. Nope. Misses the second. One of two at that trip down as I believe uh, Gorsh had the rebound. Cortez seals. Going to try to get around there. Uh, let's see. There's Huber, Graham, over to Gorsh. That's going to have to hurry here to get a shot off. They need to get a three. And we have a foul. Nope, it's a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout here. Well, we want to thank some people here before uh, we get uh, back into action here. Uh, Jess Medina with uh, Family Ties Reduction doing the video work. Has been for the past 17, 18 years in the Quad Cities, Family Ties Reduction. And uh, you can watch us on www.ihi.com slash nslancers. That's www.ihigh.com slash nslancers. And, uh, of course, we also want to thank Frank Wood, uh, the athletic director here at North Scott, having us out here for uh, tonight's ball game. Has been for the past uh, uh, decade and a half. Uh, of course, these fine coaches here. Uh, Kevin Skilla drawing up the strategy, looking to see who to foul, maybe. That's probably the best... Uh, Defense Bettendorf has right now is to foul. So uh, you don't have anybody with four fouls. Send North Scott to the line. Might be the best strategy with 23 seconds left. And not a lot of time to get a really great shot off. Cortez gets the ball. Don't go for two. Well, you might have to. In and out. And North Scott's going to take a quick timeout. 43-42. Cortez. Five points for him. It's 30 second timeout. Well, now you have to foul right away almost. Don't want to foul uh, either one of the uh, hot free throw shooters. Cole Clearman or... Nick Hughes, Clearman is 83% from the line and uh, Nick Hughes is 80%. Of course, he made one of two the last time down. So it comes a battle of who to foul. Let's remember, Bettendorf's only 56% from the line. It's really going to come down to, like I said, free throw shooting to seal this game. And, and right there, the foul. It is on Hughes. That was probably the best option right at that moment. To avoid an intentional foul, really. Ben Wilson draws the foul. Third foul for him. Lancers eighth. Nick Hughes to shoot the one and one. One of three tonight so far, so we'll see what happens here. It's Cortez comes in, trading defense for offense, maybe. And the crowd's gonna come unglued. No, you don't wanna do that. Here we go. In it goes, so. Hughes. Makes the first. We got one more coming up here. And it's good. So two big free throws. 45-42.
Well, like I said, it came down to who who had a foul. That was probably the only option right there. Was the foul Nick Hughes to avoid an intentional foul, possibly. Now it's going to have to come down to a big three-point shot. Don't get fouled. Or if you do, make the first potentially miss number two and then bat it out to somebody. That could be the best way to go here, I think. Either way, the Lancers have uh, really played a super game from the uh, second quarter on. Got into a little bit of trouble early, got down by eight early in the second quarter, 16-8, but North Scott storming right back. Had to start thinking about player of the game here. Got a couple in mind here, both sides. Cortez takes the inbounds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Huber for three. In and out. And that's going to, uh, nope, that's going to do it. Couple of misses there. Bettendorf bumped it. And uh, let's see what happens. What happened? Well, I'm not sure, but I think Bettendorf's, the game's over and Bettendorf's won. No, wait, wait, wait. Maybe a foul? Yep, that's it. it ain't gonna matter, Bettendorf wins. What a game, though. And we're gonna give Cole Clearman your Family Ties production, Nickelberry Seats, a player in the game. He ends with 11 points. Really a balanced scoring effort. And uh, you, you have to give honorable mention to Jordan Arp, who uh, spark plugged the game off the bench for the Lancers. So again, thanking Jess Medina, Family Ties production, Frank Wood for North Scott High School Athletic Director, and and you, the uh, viewer, for watching. Brian Ratchin, Family Ties Production, thanking you for watching.